have to count like in our heads, like a ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> Is that was that that was the call? Yeah. Don't stop, get it, get. It. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, guys, guys, stop, stop, All right, stop. Hi, yeah. ladies. How we are? We are good. We that, macking in these streets. You heard? Oh my god, you sound like a gang member. I feel like okay. I think I look like a lesbian today. You think I could bag bitches today? Yeah, of course. It's not, you know, there's a term for that. It's not just a lesbian. You have to say uh, a G, I think it's called. A what? A, a G. What part of the LGBT community is that? Oh, I, I, I did. Okay, I, got, I know what you're a talking gangster? about. gangster? No. No. You said it's A-G. Like, like a young M.A.? Yes. Yeah, like the, that we yeah, wish the, the strap The arms. right term for that is the like, AG. Well, yeah. I'm going to call you a stud. Wait, that, that's <laughs> what I'm <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. No, nah, all right, guys. Well. We got to stop laughing. This is a serious yeah, topic. Yeah. So last time we was here, we had a situation where Gabby got a call. If you want to let them know what happened. Um. I had, after we had recorded the last episode, I got a call that my great grandma had passed away. Um, It was sad and it is sad. It's heartbreaking, but it's like, you know, she was 98 years old. She lived her life. It's not like her life was taken or anything like that. She passed away in her sleep, which is to me the best way to go. You know, there was no pain, no, no, none of that. Does it make you curious to know, like, what was the last thought in her mind? In her mind, like, I don't know why, but I, I think of that. Like, there, like, God forbid, if I pass away, what would be the, like the last thing I was thinking about? I was, I'm not even. I was gonna say something real out of. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we gotta be serious for this time. So, like, yeah. that's it's so- no, but honestly, my my great grandma was a very religious um, woman. So honestly, I don't. I don't know if she was conscious because we also have to take that into consideration. Like if you're not conscious, she was just laying in the bed and she was sleeping. But um, I don't know. I don't I don't I don't I don't think I've ever put thought into that, like to know what is the last thing. How are you feeling? I mean, I'm sad. The mo- the only thing that I'm really, really sad about is the fact that I know I'm never going to see her again physically. I'm never going to be able to walk to her house again and, you know, see her on her rocking chair. I'm never going to see that again. And I'm never going to hear her voice again, only in videos and things like that. But, you know, I was blessed to be, to have her in my life for 31 years. Make memories and Yeah, stuff. I have a bunch of memories with her. You know, she taught me a lot. She told me a lot of stories from, like, back in the day when she was a child. So it's like, you know, I have those memories and maybe in the future if I ever have kids... I could pass on those stories and, you know, but it's sad. that That's the only thing that I'm sad about is the fact that I'm never going to see her again. Do you think <clears throat> specific family members that pass away, they hold the family together? For sure. And, like, do you think that their passing can kind of, like, pass down the tradition that they held when they was here? Yeah. Or disconnect everybody because they were the glue? Like, what, fi- like, what particular I- family member holds everybody together? To me, always. to me, I think my great grandma was that. And I I always knew that there was going to be a disconnect once she was gone. And I think that was also one of my like fears because I'm such a family person. Um, but then again, it's like when I was in Puerto Rico for her funeral, I was like in the, in the corner at the funeral home. And I was just like, wow, like my great grandma really did this. Like there was over a hundred people there and it was just beautiful to see like one woman created all of that and um i think that's big when it's like the way that you're loved and you know what's so crazy like i was talking about it not in the terms of like passing away but like that's where like envious comes like the way you are loved by other people people don't like that Mm -hmm. but i think it was different in her case no no she's 98 no no i'm saying but like as a general like like if it was a younger person and being that many people there's people that would like damn why this person you know what I I'm saying? I think if a person feels like that it's, over it's, a person who has passed away, it's they wicked. Need, they need to like but something's it wrong with them because That's the like crazy the person part. is no longer on earth. What are you hating on? You'll be surprised. Well, man. this this world is so wicked. Well, then at that 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 leads me to the next question: Is like what traits <clears throat> the people that's living 
show once a specific person dies, no matter the age, like, what do you notice a lot more evident? Like, envy, more sorrow, more distance, more happiness? Because the person is going, like, what What are the things I mean, that you see? I mean, think moving forward, you don't want to be, like, I think grieving is just, is all different sorts of level. Like, you have to, you're going to be in denial at first. You know, it's yeah. like, you're going to be shocked. You're going to be in denial. It's going to be surreal. You don't know what to think. And then as much as you want to move forward or accept it, like you got to go through a bunch of phases before actually admitting to yourself, like, damn, this is real reality. Like Mm -hmm. now I got to move forward without this person and so on. Um, I I don't know, because like I said, I you will eventually have to be happy. But it's I don't think it's you have to be happy. I think it's more so like continuing moving, living your life. You just have to continue going you have to move forward but i don't think there's ever like a i'm i'm happy you know unless it's like a tragic death then i feel like that's that makes it even harder to move forward like something very unexpected yeah you see like for my great grandma like i'm happy because i've had conversations with her where we would be in the balcony of her house and she would be like i'm so exhausted on my knees hurt i'm tired i can't walk anymore so it's like you know she's not feeling like that anymore she's at peace she's resting eternally so i don't know things like that make me happy because i know that at least speaking for myself i know that when she was here i showed her that i loved her i told her that i loved her so she left in good in good hands in the sense mm -hmm. where it's like she got everything out of her system rather than like like you know i don't know the person but someone just passed away big person in dykeman I'm yeah, sure you've seen yeah. pictures and stuff like that. Rest in peace. Um, but in his case, he was young. Uh, he, from the looks of it, very well loved. So that took everyone like super, super off guard where it's like, damn, like now how do we deal with this is like super shocking. And I'm sure he had more to live is like, I don't know his age. I would think it's like in early 40s, but it's like early 40s is so young still. It is. And like you it have is. so much to live for. And if he had kids, like... You left a, your kids behind. And that's, it's sad to know, like, when your kids have to bury you rather than you burying your kids, you know, like, or the yeah. opposite. Like, that's kind of like, damn. What, <clears throat> what do you think people go through at certain times when they know that somebody's about to pass away in their family? Like, like how can you, how do you mean like what like an elderly it, person like yeah, it could be anybody it or like be anybody any age, who's like let's say age, god forbid like, like cancer and yeah, they're like, like on somebody stage. just like somebody that's dying they know and then they just start doing certain things i don't know because that shit is like you know sometimes like god forbid like i feel like if my mom was sick i don't think she would tell me i i think cause she knows i would just you know to will be worrying so much that is it's like I'm not going to want to probably live my life the same way or probably let's, let's say if I take trips and stuff like that, mm-hmm. like I'm not going to want to do all of that because I'm going to be scared. She's that. probably just like, or anyone will probably feel like it's a burden. So it's like, I feel yeah. like God forbid if my mom, like if my mom ever come encounters any sickness or any of that, I don't think she'll be honest to tell me like because of that in the sense where it's like, and then it's like a hard battle. Like I want my mother to tell me, mm-hmm. but then it's like, it is not that it's going to be it will never be a burden, but it's going to probably put a pause into no, my life. Be, I don't think it's that it's going to put a pause on your life as being her kid, but it's just going to be on your mind every day. Like like when God, is it like if it's a if it's a, a disease where, you know, death is coming, let's say um, I think that'll be nerve wracking. Like when is it like is today going to be the day or is tomorrow going to be the day or, you know, I think that's more. But as far as a burden, I don't feel like No, I wouldn't say a burden. Definitely I wouldn't consider anything that has to do with my mm-hmm. with my mother a burden. Like it would just like it would put more of a I I'm gonna have to second think mm-hmm. on ideas. Like if I'm with somebody and my birthday's coming and they're gonna be like, yo, we are for two weeks to Greece. Yeah. I might reconsider that because I'm gonna be like, yo, two weeks away from my mom, I don't know how I feel about yeah. that. You know, maybe like four days or something like that, but like two weeks, yeah, I don't you know. Is I've seen I've seen a friend of mine go through that with her mom. Um, yeah, just so her mom had cancer for a lot of years and she passed away from it. And um, I, I, but how's that saying? You take your hat off to them, you applaud them. I don't know yeah, the thing, cool. but she was 
I she's one of my strongest friends. Like, I don't know how she made it through everything, but and she would cry like when her mom passed away, which I get. Like, you know, that's your mom. But I would always tell her, like, you know, you did what you had to do and you did you were the best daughter, the best daughter that I've I'm probably gonna ever know. Cause I don't even think I could do half the things that she did for her mom when her mom was alive. And it's just like, you know, you're like, yeah, you you can cry over it her not being with us anymore physically but you you did one hell of a job like she she did the damn thing do y'all think that the person that takes care of all the like the business behind the death grieves the the most and last yes like i agree time? i definitely do think and so do you think it's fair for them to have to be the last ones to grieve because they got to hold it together i mean it's not fair. At the end of the day, you should be able to express it. But it's like, if no one else is strong, then who's going to keep it together? You know what I'm saying? Like, it could be that, but it could also be that the person just isn't physically, not physically, but like they just don't show their emotions. Because no, I have they, a cousin who... They probably do it in their own time, yeah, not, yeah, yeah. not around. I, I know someone in that sense where I know when he's by himself, he it probably hits him harder than mm-hmm. when he's around people. I think when you're around people, it's to distract you from yeah. that little reality of you going home. It's like when we go through shit, you know, especially like like for us when back in the days, anytime we went through something, first thing was, yo, let's go out, let's have a drink, let's do this. But I know when we went home, of course, we, it's heavy on our minds, and that's when it's like, oh, either we're gonna cry in our sleep or whatever the case is. But it's on your own time, so it's mm-hmm. like. You're not putting no burden on anybody or anything. Like, you just kind of reevaluating and reflecting on what the hell the situation is. Yeah. So it's kind of, it's not, and I wouldn't even consider it being weak because you're not expressing it. It's just whenever you're ready to actually be open about it with somebody else is when you're like, all right, cool, now let me go speak on it. But until then, I'd rather just sit at home and just deal with it by myself. Because in all reality, you only got you. Mm -hmm. Like, as crazy as it sounds, like you're always going to have people having your back. But... You're your biggest supporter. But like, I also feel like people like that, they are more, like, they're more stuck in their head. And, you know, they. I feel like those are the people that you need to watch out for. Uh, because uh, it's, it's dangerous to, like, you know, be by yourself. And that's when you let it out. Like, I don't know, to each his own. But I wouldn't want anyone around me to feel like that. What, like, what is the the I, ideal thing to say to somebody that just lost somebody. There's nothing. You know what's so crazy? I, I don't think, like, as much as you want to tell somebody stay strong or it's going to be okay, it's much deeper than that. Like, I think so, when you are going to say something, it's more of like, whenever you're ready, mm-hmm. that's when you you'll you're it's gonna you're gonna be okay but whenever you're ready to be okay like don't think that you have to be strong right then and there like grief as long as you need to and whenever you feel like okay now it's where i could kind of start moving that's why i said there's fate there's stages to grieving like you're gonna be in denial you're gonna be shocked it's gonna be surreal Dep- and especially depending on who the person is like yeah if it's like a parent or your kid or something like that i don't think there's a time frame of of Oh, I'm gonna be okay. I think the 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 most disrespectful thing you can tell someone when someone passes away is it's gonna be okay. Why like, so? I just feel like you don't you can't tell someone it's gonna. It, it, we all know eventually it's, with time it, it's gonna pass. It's, it's not gonna be okay. It's just gonna get better. Mm-hmm. So, but at the moment when someone passes away, that's not something you want to hear. Like, I just lost this person forever. Do you know that? Like. You're ne- I'm never going to see this person again. So who are you to tell me it's going to be okay? So people Which choose. I already know eventually it's going to get better. But don't tell me it's going to be okay. You just... So people just have to be more mindful of the choice of words. Yes. I feel like people have to be more mindful because you just... I'm sure... You know what's crazy? Like, I'm sure probably much younger, me not putting too much sense. I'm sure I probably said, like, yo, it's going to be... I've never... Okay. I've never... And I... I I learned that at a young age because um, my uncle got killed when I was f- 15 or 16. And that was my first, like, hit, like, losing someone so close to me. I've never felt that kind of pain. Like, not even with my great-grandma now because, like I said, it 
you know, it was, it was, it was I expected. knew it was coming. Yeah, it was expected. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, someone taking my uncle's life, like, that's different. So I, when I felt that pain, it was like something that I don't ever want to feel in my life again, ever. That's the same way that when I lost my stepfather, I got the call from the tombs. He got killed in the tombs. And I had to, like, I didn't know how to break it down to my mother. I, you know how you didn't know how to tell your mom? That was like my mother's love of her life. Like you, you get like one real true. You could love multiple people. You're yeah. gonna love multiple people, but I truly believe you have this one person that genuinely like, like makes you happy. Like that was my mom, and I have him tied. It's so funny. I think like somebody was like, "Oh, your boyfriend's name is Carlito." No, it's like I respected my mom's my stepfather so much. That I, I, I tatted him because I never seen my mom so happy. Like seeing my mom went like above and beyond for this man. And it was like reciprocated. It's like that was a real definition. And it was like cut so short because he did like seven years. Came home for like two years and a half. And then, you know, he was an immigrant. So he had came back from the yard, you know, without papers and all that. Got mm. caught up. And then it, he did a little bit in the tomb before they was going to send him back to the yard. And then that's when everything happened. And I did not know how to like, I, to me, I just felt like I didn't even want no one to tell me it's going to be okay or it's going to pass or, oh, you know, I'm sorry. I feel like no words matter. Exactly. No words matter. Like I, I, to me, it was just like, yo, damn, how am I going to be strong for my, like my only thing with my mind was like, I, now I got to be strong for my mom. Like that was Honestly, the only thing I was thinking about, mm -hmm. I didn't care about nothing else. Like, people be like, yo, stays, you know, it's, it's going to be okay. In my mind, I'm like, whatever. Is, like, is it possible to, like, be annoyed because somebody's, like, over grieving? And what do you do with people like that? No, that's because there are there are people that get annoyed because somebody is still in grieving. No, I, I like the last guy I was with, you know, he lost his son. Mm -hmm. And to me, I've. Even when he went through all his stuff, I never not once, like, I felt like I wanted to be there more for him. Even through his, like, little moments that he was okay. Mm -hmm. Like, to me, I'm just like, nah, I, I know he's not. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just wanted to be around him to just, whenever little moment that he felt, like, a little low, whatever the case was. Like, yeah. But, um. I just feel like it's disrespectful if you tell someone or feel like you are with time like you just need time you can't tell someone or you can't get frustrated because they're still grieving there's no there's no time, time frame. frame you can't say oh he passed away three months ago like you know you can't you know what other one hit me bad Cheddar's. yeah i remember that i was i was with you for yeah Cheddar's. i lost a friend to surgery and that one hit me bad like do you do you think certain deaths can be prevented? No, nah, I think when is your time? When is, is your, your time? time? Is your time? That's like written in the book of life. You just. But what about people that like amongst your your peer group, and you you feel guilt, like survivors remorse because they went to this party or they went to this street so right it, before they died. Do you feel like you could have prevented it? Like, do you have, well, by not ever? going and living your life. Well, not that, but you just because you know some people have like this keen sense to know and like yo, I don't something's think gonna happen. Something's Most gonna of happen. the time, that's the case though. A lot of people feel or they know when it's about to be their time. Because like, look for instance, my uncle, you he was in New York um, the week prior to him going back to Puerto Rico, and they killed him in Puerto Rico. And usually, he will come like every other week to like to like to New York. And that week, he went to my aunt's house and he said bye to everyone, which he's never done before. And it's crazy because like he didn't have no beef. He didn't. It, it was he is just he knew for some reason he knew. And that's why I'm a strong believer that some people do have that sense of like soon I'm going. You know what? With, with, you know, what's so crazy. Like if you really, really pay attention I don't know. I have picked up on a pattern that when people are going to pass, like the last few things that they do kind of like. All right. For I know a few people that their last picture 
as crazy as it sounds, you see like sunlight hitting like them. You know, it's it's rare, but like it's I like I had a friend, he passed away years ago, and his last picture was was his hand doing the prayer sign. Like literally his last picture. That's so crazy. And I, to, I, I, I semi believe I think that certain me, pictures I, people take. Like it just looked like it's about to go on a obituary. It's it exactly, it's, and so it's usually I, they they like most recent one. Yeah, right yeah. So I also had a friend, and he took one like outside, and the and the sun is only shining on him. Like it's a, it was a group pick, like him and his boys, and the sun like that little shine, and it's so crazy too. Like I I don't know if you remember, there was like that portrait of like Kobe and his family, and the the sun was just shining on Kobe and his daughter. I didn't see that. And it's 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 crazy because that picture and was taken probably like a year before COVID before died. that, and then out of, out of all the odds, it's like she's the one that's on his shoulder. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That, like, that part, I I know wait, what you're talking about. When, when Gigi was a baby, no, it was it was not. It was it probably. I think the picture you're talking about is one. It was a I think a year before Kobe died. It, I, it, it probably, it probably yeah, because the, the um COVID. their last daughter was already born, but she's still a baby, baby. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is like it was, Co- you know, it was like th- everybody, and then Kobe, and then Gianna was like above him, mm-hmm. and it's like why Gianna above? You get what I'm saying? Like these are things yeah. that I I think about, where it's like, then am I am I overthinking? Or I feel uh, like that is a thing though, because like you know, rest in peace to Classico. Um, he left a lot of tweets, and you know those tweets, it's like. They were kind of like live your life yeah, because like you live your life. You never know when is your last day. Like, you know, things like that. Don't mark me on them because I don't know exactly what he wrote. But it's like I saw people reposting things like that. And, it's and like, it made sense with, within the time frame of like. Like, I won, like I don't know, man. I don't know. Death is. I'm, I'm scared of death. I'm really scared of death. Like, I get what you say because it is true where I did see a bunch of tweets. And I don't I don't remember exactly word for word, but it's like. Don't stress over things that you you know you can't control. Just live your life because mm-hmm. you never know. Like it's so much to life to be like, happy. Baby, la vida es una sola. Uh-huh. That yeah, that's one. what I'm saying. Like, like la vida es una sola. Like that means there's only one life to live. So it's like live it to the fullest instead mm-hmm. of being stressed over bullshit, over people, over things that don't even matter. And I think that's my biggest thing is that I'm such a um I hold a lot of grudges, mm-hmm. and um. I think that's really bad because the 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 times that we're living in today, you it's just like from a blink of an you, eye. It's a blink of an eye, and I just feel like I need to let that go because either someone can be gone tomorrow, and I'm gonna live with that guilt, or vice versa. God forbid, I could be gone tomorrow, and you know I don't want to leave Earth with that hatred or that that guilt. Um, not guilt with that um that conscious that in my like i just don't want to be that person so i feel like that's something that i need to work on and i need to work on like asap so that leads me to my next question do you feel bad for the person that held the grudge against someone that just recently passed away and now that person that's alive is like grieving immensely they're heartbroken and everything that that happened with my my grandfather and my uncle um my uncle stopped talking to all of us like to me, my my mom, my grandfather, he stopped talking to all of us. And um my they killed my uncle and my grandfather, like, you know, that wasn't his mind and it, it, he still talks about it till this day and it's been like over. I mean it's gonna eat you up alive for the simple fact that you didn't have a chance to make it better because you was probably being but bitter. He didn't, he didn't do anything. It's just that unfortunately my uncle at the last stages of his life he was falling deep into the drug game so i think you know his mind was just not in the right place and he was having these different scenarios in his head and he felt like we was betraying him but in reality no one was doing anything to him he was just fighting demons yeah that's what it was so he stopped talking to my grandfather and uh like two two to three months prior to him getting killed that's when me and him were like reconciling our relationship and i was like living with him so i'm grateful for that because i probably would have felt the same way like you know like my uncle got killed and we didn't even have a relationship anymore Mm -hmm. so but it hurt to see my grandfather like that like you know my grandfather's still on earth he has to bury his son and he has to bury his son without any relationship because he's mad at me over nothing 
literally over nothing. So I feel like that that shit sucks. Like, so you would just, you kind of like fix any relate? Not fix necessarily any relationships that you had love for people. Like, just in case God forbid something happens. I don't think I would want to fix a relationship with whoever I've had a fallout with. But I would definitely want to just let it go out of my heart. Like, you know, I just want to be able to say, like, if I see someone or if I hear someone, I don't be like, like, you know, I don't want, I I don't know how to say it in English. Um, no me quiero llevar el rincón, like, rincón. I don't know how to say like, that Like, I don't want to, I don't <laughs> want to be. I have, like, uh, yeah. I don't want, I don't want that, that. That, that nasty hatred. Feeling. I don't want that feeling. I don't want none of that. Like it's just no, because you don't, that's living with a heavy heart, and it's like why do all of that? You know what I'm saying? That's like life is short, so it's like why? Like if you ever did anything to me, I forgive you, and that's it. That's what it is. I don't want to pass and go to heaven. Hopefully, with anything on my mind or my heart, because you want to heaven. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, that's a little battle between me. I'm trying to <laughs> find my Yo, I don't know. Nah, I don't know. Like, I have dreams of like how I'm gonna die, and it's kind of scary as fuck. That's, that's the next thing. Like, what's the scariest part about the idea of death? I, I like the way that I feel like I'm gonna die is like, God forbid, it's not because it's like, I mean, it'll be a quick death. But it's it's just so crazy that I I don't know why I think of these things like I'm that odd person. I don't I don't think of that. I my for me it's more I'm so afraid of like a bunch of different things that I'm like yo is that how I fucking passed away in my past life? I don't think about how I'm gonna die in this life, but I do think about how I died in I, my past. Life, I had dreams. If that makes sense. So I reincarnation had dreams, almost. Which is which is why I like I I had conversations like with my best friend. I had a convo with her. I'm like yo if. My funeral, you know, God forbid you alive and I pass, like, you know what to do. <laughs> like, there's certain restrictions in my funeral. Like, who could come and who can't? So you have a bouncer at the door at the church? <laughs> like, you can get in. Nah, 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 nah. Cover Wait, charge, I, cover I charge. I have a question for you guys now. How important do you think it is? Or is, hold on, how do I say this? Because it is, I feel like it's important and a lot of people do feel like it's important. Um, Leaving a will. Doing a will prior to you passing. Need it. Need it. You don't do. want your shit in the wrong hands or the wrong family members. Because if you have something of And value, it sucks because you know what's so crazy? Like you can't. When God forbid you pass, you think the person you really, really trust, mm -mm. you really can't. Mm -mm. That's mm -hmm. why you got to have. It's, it's a legal I, document. I, and this shit happened in my family where like they made my uncle, like since he was already kind of like halfway dying, like. Where they made him like sign things that he didn't even was aware of, and he, it, so it switched. And I'm like, yo, that's kind of wicked as fuck for you to do some shit that's like crazy, that. That's crazy, but you know, there's a god out there that's watching. And no, no, definitely, and, and and they they have a plan for everything. But for you to take the time to kind of like change somebody's will because they're not even conscious of what they're doing and switch it to what you believe is best. When that person already know what's best, which is why mm -hmm. they did what they did in the will. Like, I don't know that. Like, that's... I don't know. You gotta I be a like different type of evil, you know? And that sucks because it's like... Damn, what, what's your reasoning behind you doing what you're doing now? Like... Mm -hmm. Well, everybody has I feel has like I would... Motive. I think now, after seeing so many deaths and, you know, the way things are going, like... I would definitely want to do a will. I, I, obviously, it's not gonna be me, much. Like, I ain't no fucking millionaire, right now, but, but I, as I have, as I have it now, what you know, God forbid, like something does happen to me. Like I have it where it's my son, my mom, and my goddaughter, Adriana's daughter. Those are three people that it's gonna take over. So that's your beneficiary. That's yeah. yeah. So I have my my mom, my son, and my goddaughter. Life insurance, but is I'm talking also about like key. an actual will. Like you see, for example, my great grandma right now she passed away. Her house is just closed, and she didn't have a will or nothing. So who, so who they could, get the it? Could, the bank could take I, I care. I don't know what's gonna happen. Usually, it would be but, next to kin if nobody see like takes ownership of it. I think either the bank takes. My it great grandmother after. had, I think, thirteen kids. So yeah, but That's it's next crazy. to kin, so it'll be the oldest. 
the oldest would take ownership of the, of no, the, house. the well the second oldest i don't know how that works the, the oldest you, isn't included yeah, it's, it's usually next to kin <laughs> if you don't have a living will or you don't have nobody appointed as your i think it's your your head of your state yeah or but i don't like think that. in puerto rico it goes like that like what in for puerto insurance rico, purposes like your assets and your properties, like they no, don't no, have, no. Like, I'm talking about just the house itself. Yeah, that's an that's asset. An asset. Yeah, it's an asset. So nobody, but, they don't got no type of paperwork where you could, your know, if I die, that person gets nope. that. I mean, but it's it, like let's say for example in that situation, if the house is already fully paid, then then yeah, yeah it will probably go to. It's but if they the owe kid. money, then the bank would just yeah, the bank take it. No, see, the, the house the bank, has been paid ninety three years of her living in the same place. So then yeah, we we'll go to next to kin. Whoever, who, their, her next living relative. They all have houses. Nobody's about to fight for that. You should go and get it. No. You wouldn't want it? No. I, I mean, I Because I know, like, God forbid, the day that my grandma passes away, that's my house. Mm. So. You wouldn't want it. And then I'm pretty sure it holds a lot of sentimental value to yeah, it. Yeah, you know, I, like, I wouldn't even, like, I, um, my family did a nine-day prayer for my great grandma after the funeral. Mm-hmm. And um I went to her house and it was the, for the first day of the prayer. And I was just like, I got so emotional because I've never seen the house like that. You know, I've never seen her seat empty. And the it was energy just, was just sucked out of there. It was not there. is it was just like so, I don't want to get emotional, but it was just like a feeling that I was just like, I don't so since, I don't ever see myself. Since you just house. went through like a loss, like what are things that you like recommend to people to kind of like not get by necessarily, but like what are steps that you took to like make yourself kind of feel a little better? I don't think it's it's making myself feel better. I think it's just, just like just moving for, forward for this for this experience. I can say it was just I think it's happy tears, you know, like. I was able to joke with her. I was able to live and eat with her. I was able to take her food whenever she was hungry. You know, I it was is like I said, it's just the fact that I'm never gonna see her again. But now for my uncle, that was that was different. So that's what I'm saying. Like, what would you tell people who's kind of like time? There's nothing. There's there's nothing. Nothing that you can say or do to help you get through grief. Just time. That's just what it is. Cause. I, I, when it happened, I thought I was never going to get out of that hole. Like, I I didn't see the light. It was just like, what is happening to me? This should, my life just changed. And then now, like, to 11, 12 years after, now as I look back at it and it's like, you know, with time it got better. Like, you you learn to accept the fact that the person is no longer there. Do you think there's, um, this may be a little bit odd, but do you think there's certain deaths that you, it doesn't really move you like another person's death would. Is, yes, it, is yeah. it possible? For I, I someone have an to... example for that too. Like you know, my my dad's mom passed away not too long ago, like three months ago, and um, I didn't have a relationship with her. So I, like I met her really... for the first time when I was like twenty six, I believe. That's mm-hmm. crazy. It, it sucks so, though. But like, I, I there is people like that too. Like yeah, I'm not he like, told my, my... me he had called. No, one of my one of my cousins called from my dad's side called me well she didn't call me she wrote to me on instagram and she was like you know um abuela died and i i never even called her abuela so i was just like oh i was like damn I, like i felt for my dad like i think if my dad's mom <clears throat> passes away no disrespect but i really you don't care budge. i and, and it's like no hard feelings but it's just like i know it's a history where like they kind of treated my mom like shit so it's like I don't give three fucks. Like even to this day, my mom, my like if I speak to my dad, and it's like I said, it sucks because that's like my grandma from my dad. But like my, if I speak to my dad, my dad be like, "Oh, I quita mama." I be like, "Okay." <laughs> no, when I would when I, I would talk I, to my dad, I would just be like, "Oh, pa, how's your mom?" Like oh, I wouldn't, wouldn't even I wouldn't even address I wouldn't even as I, you, no. you kind of consider it. I personally like in the script, me and my sister, we we feel the same way. Like. We don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you have that reason. Like, no, you know, I, I wouldn't say reason. I don't no, give yeah, up. Yeah, 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 but I'm saying like, I, like, I don't, and, and it's why, because I know he knows that, but it's just like, now my mom's mom, I will fucking, I'll shoot anybody for her. Like, that, me and that old lady, even though she complains like fucking hell. You look like you got a gun on you too. <laughs> right now, right? Yeah, right now. <laughs> you got, you got a nine. Mark! <laughs> 
I got the chopper yeah. in the back. <laughs> but yeah, like there's there's there are some people who have passed where I'm like, then like it touched me, and then there's some where I'm like, then like it, it sucks, but it's like it, it don't it don't hit like. There's some people that that shit hits your soul, like yeah, like for example, for Chere, like I I've I like yo that I felt that like that shit killed me knowing you know like and actually just seeing her like that's one thing too like it's different when it be a closed casket mm-hmm. rather than when it's like a open like because you actually physically watching them. Yo, I'm not even like I. It sucks to even say, but like I know you've seen like TikToks where like those and it'd be like the best friend, and then oh, like when they like over and they like, yo, your ex is here. <laughs> <laughs> and I be like, like I, I be just curious. Like I'm not gonna lie, for Cheddar's funeral, my a good friend of mine, I was like, damn sis, you got all your niggas in here. Like, like, I, was like I was like, this shit is crazy. I was like. I think it won. I I had to have a moment because if you knew her, you knew that she was nothing but laughs. Yeah, Chere was she like was a joke. Like like a literally like I never seen that bitch sad ever. Rest in peace. Ever everything was a joke to her. So in my mind, I'm like, yo, I gotta at least make one joke while I'm in here. And I swear to God, I, I think in one, I was like, bitch, you got this guy over there. You got your nigga now. You got this. I was like, sis, who is life? Yo. Like. <laughs> Like, I swear to God, and I, in my mind, I'm like, yo, I know that's the type of time. Like, if it was the opposite, like, I, if it was me, I know she would have said some funny shit just like that. Like, that's the type of relationship that we have. But it's like, I don't, like, there's, like, there's certain that are going to hit you. And then there's some that, it's not you're not going to show no empathy towards it. But it's not going to, where it's going to really, really affect you. Like, you could continue your day. Like, me, I got called at work when this happened. Like, can, her sister have wrote to me. And I left work rather than I've gotten another call from somebody else. And I'm like, damn, that's why. But I'm still, I could function still. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I, I, that, like when I, when my great grandma recently passed away, I felt so bad because like I told my dad, my dad obviously knew my great grandma. Whenever I was over there, like they would talk on the phone. And I, when I told him, my mom actually was the one like, oh, tell your dad that she passed away. So I wrote to my dad and I told him. And I like I felt so bad because I compared the the day that they told me that his mom died and then how I reacted to her passing, my great grandma passing, because like I sent him the message and then I put like a lot of crying emojis. And then when I spoke to him for his mom, I was just like, I'm sorry. Like, you, you, know, couldn't, you couldn't get no feeling. I, out of there was no feeling, though. And I, it's like I'm not going to I don't I, I'm not going to be fake about it. Like, we never, I never I mean, called but that's her. She never called me. So it was just like, there was really no emotional connection between me and his mom. Mm-hmm. Like, like I said, I even used, I would, I would, I would ask about her. Yeah, because, you know, but when I would but ask would for her. it would just be like yeah, it was simple just, pleasantries. Would, yeah, it wouldn't I be like, you really I never spoke to her over the phone. I never, nothing. So when I would ask him, it was more for him to feel like, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to explain it, but it was never because out of respect for your yeah, pops, it was out of respect for my like, father. Like God forbid, if I pass. What you gonna tell me? What you gonna whisper in my ear while I'm in my casket? I don't know. Like, probably the same thing. I know you're gonna have all your niggas there. <laughs> yo. <laughs> that, yo, shorty, all her niggas is probably gonna be together. Get her a Gucci fucking casket or some shit. <laughs> no and Stacy. But I don't know. I don't like to think about that kind of stuff because it makes me I, sad. I, I don't. You see, I don't want y'all to be sad though. You feel me? Like I really don't like. I'm gonna come to your cast and be like, I got the watch. I mean, yo, I think please it's more. do, and yo, bury that shit with me. You heard? Like, I think no. I think, <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, I ain't even trying to lie, but yo, put the watch in my cast. I think. Put wait, that wait. Shit on my wrist. When you say when you say you don't want us to be sad, we can say that, but you have no, to also. No, it's gonna hit you. I I know that. It, it, it better it hit depends. you. Out. No, it depends. <laughs> it depends on the way you left. You know the like that plays a huge role. If it's something, so some a way a person dies de- depends on like. Wait, so you'll cry less if I like no, pass but, away in my sleep? No, but you can't. God forbid you die in a fire or something or anyone like. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, for it's that. not funny. It's the truth. Like 
I'm not gonna. I'm gonna think about what you was feeling at the moment. I'm gonna think about I'm hot. the I'm last burning. thing that's My on your mind. I'm not that's, gonna. That's I'm not gonna death. think. I'm not exactly. I'm not gonna think about how Stacey would want me happy. Like yeah, I'm gonna say that because I know you would want me to be happy. But bro, I'm gonna be devastated. No, 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 like that. My friend suffered old deep with her death. Like I don't, I don't I think mean. I'll have an open casket, right? Like if you get like three on um, three degree. What is it like? I said three degrees is like thirty three degrees. degrees burns. burns. Yeah, 30 degrees or three? Three. 30, oh. 30 degrees. 30 degrees right. is like, it's, you, you charcoal, no, right? It's your bones. <laughs> no, you bones. Invisible. <laughs> I would have been the type like, yo, I got 30 degree burn. burn. Like, like, what? Um, 30 degree burn, <laughs> sis. You're going to go see the disciples. Yo, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yo, y'all remember that show, A Thousand Ways to Die? Yes. Yeah. What y'all think is the best way to die out of those Nah, I don't think there's no best way. Yes, but there I think, is. Okay, outside, you know, outside like, of sleep. Shit, no, 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 no. Outside of that. Nah, outside funny shit, that. right? I was just talking. I was talking to like my little boo, I guess, whatever. Um, and I had asked him like, "Yo, if if you experienced the the, the twin tower situation, what have you? What would he have done?" He said, "I would have jumped off." Oh no, nah, hell no. No, I don't. I don't. But he said, he said first. He said, "Yo, at first, I would try to find a way out." But then and but then I'm a uh, if if, they, if I see there's no way out I'm gonna throw myself out the roof I think off the roof off the one of the windows or whatever the case was, and I'm like, damn. Well, but even watching that, like I went into a deep dive on that shit. Yo, I did too. And and just, just seeing watching the people, people flying out. Like, imagine you going to work and you, but that you, if, and that then impact that of happened, that happened and then your thought is, yo, I don't I think got you're nothing thinking. else to do but. Just jump out the window. But I don't think you're thinking at that moment. You are. That's a conscious decision. Like, yo, I'm going to die. So I got to choose how I'm going to die. But you know, a lot of people, the reason why they were jumping out the window was because they thought that they would be able to be found by, saw, like recovered no, by. No, remember the helicopters was hovering them. But the, the fire was so immense, they couldn't get close enough so they can get the ladder down. Mm. Then, because some of them was on the roof, some of them was hanging out the window. And it's like, all right. The helicopter's not coming closer, so what the fuck? It's, it's smoking fire everywhere. I can't go down the stairways. Firefighters are trying to come up 100 and plus sto- stories. But that's going to take a long time. Then at that point, it's like, I, what am I going to do? Burn it so down. So what, what, what would you have done? Who, me? Yeah. Oh, no. Nah, I'm I'm finding a way to get downstairs. There's you you say uh, that I'm going to find I'm gonna put a printer and no put that shit on the ground. No, you say that, but in that moment, I just think like pathway. you panic though, like and. Which is why, like, I guess drills are so important. Be- no, you you say that, but that's like, you you don't know. Your mind literally shuts down. Yeah, it's fight or flight. Your adrenaline is like it's pumping running. It's so up and, much. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're panicking. Like, you're not really thinking straight. you just like, because I, shit, even with this, I, yeah, I would never forget this. Like, I think I had went to the ER on a trip with my son's father, and we did the banana boat. And, and, you know, on purpose, like, they knock you over and shit, like, you know, to make it more fun. And this motherfucker was drowning me because he could, I guess he forgot how he far we was, was like, how far we was in the water that when he touched, when we he fell off, he could have touched the floor. So he panicked. So he got on top of me and I was like, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I was just like, every time I got up, I was like, every time I was close to saying his name, I'm like, hey, like he was just bringing me down. And I'm like, so all you hear is the, the guy like, you have a life jacket, bro. Like you about to kill shorty. Yo. And my son's father's, like, you know, he's a little on the heavy side. So it's like, yo, my skinny ass like this just mad underwater. Like I, I for a second. I thought my life was over. I really thought my life was I, over. Because even with a life jacket, ways. I was still on the ground. I was still underwater. I think that's one of the worst ways to die, like drowning. Drowning is your drowning in getting, fire. Yeah, it is wild. is a slow death. Mm-hmm. I'd rather get shot in the head. No. No. I don't know, man. I, I, there is no way that I would prefer to pass. Yes, it got to be at least one. Outside but, of no. sleeping. Outside of sleeping? Outside of sleeping. But being shot is quick, one. though. Yeah, but it's like. It depends where. You could get shot in your freaking leg and you're not going to die. I mean, no, but you see stuff like that. That's what I'm saying. Shot in the head. What Jada Kiss said, if your eyes open when you get shot, you deserved it. Yeah, he said that in the bar. Oh, no, no. That's that's personal. Getting shot in the head is personal. Yeah, that's what I'm so saying. So I don't got no beef with nobody. Huh? I mean, there might be a girl, too, that don't like me, but I don't got beef with y'all. <laughs> this girl's <laughs> retarded, bro. Would y'all suck y'all teeth? Like, if y'all get shot? Like, oh, damn. I wake up and have You don't even have time to do that, bro. I'm sucking my teeth and I'm going to go like my nigga. Like, to be honest, like, 
I don't know. I'm about to be mad pussy though. Like, I don't know. Like, I never had no gun pointed at me. Like, I have, and that shit is scary, bro. That shit, that's why like, I'm I've telling been you, around you, guns, you say like, that, joking around. That you would have thrown yourself off the, you don't know. Okay, so what's I know what way, I did when I got shot God, at. You know, I not know to even think then. about it, but us, like, they, they say, aside from sleep. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know. These are things to think about. I, no, it's not because you can't, regardless, you no, can't no, no, plan not, your not own your death. Well, your well, own it's death. not because you power can't dodge. You cannot dodge when it's your date. So no, these are not things you think about. It, I don't know. I guess I'm, we just weird that day day. Now I'm sucking my teeth if I just get shot in the head. I just wake up and go like, yo, what's up? Welcome. Like, my nah, nigga, what? I ain't, I ain't doing all of that. Cause I, I, def, I definitely want to, you know, but I'm, I would never drown. I I would if I like not that you say like we we're not gonna choose our own death, but drowning is a motherfucker. Yeah, that's it both. takes mad long, and then especially if you're a good swimmer, and you can hold your breath for mad mm-hmm. long too. Like you're I'd about be to like, be fighting I, for like, damn, I'm about to be here for like 20 minutes because the bitch could really hold her breath. I feel bad like people that get lost at sea. That's you, scary you as gotta, fuck. Like, continue to swim until somebody come find you, and mm-hmm. then eventually your you body shuts down. But what if floating, like floating, you? If you know how to That's float. why I got beef with the chick from Titanic. Oh, because she was selfish with the door, right? Super selfish. Fam, he, Jack could have stayed. Tell me he could. I, I you know, I always played that scenario in my head, and I'm like, I, they both fit on the door. Yeah. Well, I, I don't think about that. I think about the the movie itself, and that's why I'm so scared to go on the cruises. Cruise. I don't you like You think cruises. Jack was suicidal? He was like, fuck it. I don't got nothing no, to go for maybe he, he, was, he was broke. He jumped on the Titanic. He was already popped. <laughs> but maybe he just genuinely <laughs> wanted he her a, to survive. He met a chick that got money. He was like, I don't got shit and to bring to the table. And he smashed the first day. He, he thought he was smooth. <laughs> he clapped them cheeks the He first thought he day. was smooth. He was painting her. She like this. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm going to tap yeah, that ass in her. <laughs> Dang, you know what? That's how you could get some cheeks. You got to do Picasso yeah, on yeah, these you toes. Yeah, you just got to paint her. And then, <laughs> here's the wild part. She gave up the ass, didn't even give up the door. <laughs> yeah, but still. That's why, that's I, why I don't trust yeah, women, you know Gabby. What? That's wild. Yeah, I never thought about it like that's that. That's wild. But that's wicked, though. That's super I wild. I really do believe, because no lie, vintage doors are heavy as fuck. Yeah. So the fat and they were skinny. She was little petite, little female, and so was he. Jack was like ninety four pounds. He was like ninety eight. But <laughs> they definitely, you know how like when we do slumber parties or like sleepovers, one sleeps this way and we sleep that like de cabeza, and yeah. your your feet is in my face and my like that. Mm-hmm. I feel like if they would have done it like that, they would have survived. Oh, they could have. They could have spooned. You see, you, you oh, they get, get it. You see, no, you I get, get it. it. I get it, but. You know, back yeah, in the I day, they were real men. Nah, sh- that's not... I'm about to yeah. die in Bro, freezing water. first of all, you don't even count because you don't even like going to fancy dinners with your girls. So you, <laughs> you don't go count. go to low-key Then it's the Applebee's. You don't no, count. No, 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 no. That was like... But... Olive Gardens? Hell, I've been in years. I think, I think back in the day, you know, that was really a, a man thing for them to take to care of women. No, and no, I get it. Dying. I think that's what it was. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, you, you if you love your lady, you sacrifice for your lady. He didn't love her. He did. But you don't know. You you like not you don't know. He really did. He fell in bowl. love with her. He made her feel and special. And she fell in love with him too. The she first, fell in love with him for real. Nights, him out of jail. He hit, he had her on the front of the shit, like made her feel special, and then she Bro, couldn't even save Bro, let me tell you something. When you, know, when you like someone and you feel, you know. You go it don't matter beyond. if it's a day. It don't matter if it's three weeks. It don't matter if it's three years. I don't think love put has your, a time put, frame. Put yourself in that situation. Are you saving Jack? I would have. I would have. My point is that. I feel like that's just human nature. Like, but but what I'm saying, like maybe she just maybe she just wasn't thinking it through. You know what I'm saying? Where she was just. Remember, but you also you, okay. The, first of all, first of all. I love Titanic, the movie. So he did try to get on the thing. To his defense, he but tried. But it flipped. And then it flipped. So then... How was she able to hang on, though? Because she was already on it. Okay. Maybe with the bo- with two it. bodies, it was probably too much pressure. Nah, she could have... They both could have... So at least they, they, they attempted it. It's not that okay. she was being... Um, what if... Okay, this is the door. What if they, they laid like this? And their feet... <laughs> I mean, if they laid like what? Like, 
legs straight. Like their feet is hanging. Like like like. I'd rather cold feet than dying. That's what I'm saying. I think really? that that could have worked too. I tell you what, that nigga did. Then they would have to chop off their feet though, because their shit would have been frozen. No, he did take. He wasn't dying without son. He took that bitch chain. No. Oh yeah, they found it under they the wall. Found it. How you find like mad years Cause later? Because she threw it. Were, it was in the it was in the oh, nigga yeah. had what are you it. talking about she had it yo don't yeah. try to confuse this with the titanic story yo. don't you need to go home and watch it because don't play with but me but didn't he had didn't she give it to him nah he was he was i was gonna say pranked he was what's it called he Black got male. set up yes yeah. oh, yeah, the nigga right. slipped it in his um his blazer little... you're right exactly I wonder so why. So he was a real Titanic guy. Titanic hater right now. Yeah, you man, you a <laughs> nah, hater. Nah, I remember when the Titanic was like a double VCR shit. That's when I watched it. I don't oh, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that movie. But I think I mean, Jack grief, was just being a, a, a gentleman. Yo, being a real man and grief is dying. Just, like, I, grief is just, this is an overall thing that we have to deal with. Everyone has a day and we're all going to experience it. And Yo, just one thing, though. Don't put me on no shirt. Nah, I, I don't want no wings. Nah, really keep that in mind, yo. Like, really, no shirt. No, don't put me on some and uh, some wings in the back. I don't think people do that anymore. Yes, yes they, they still do. do. Really? Yeah, they still do that shit they super proudly. Do. If you're gonna do a shirt, like, put some effort in it to it. Don't just like. Pick. I just don't want wings. So you want to put on, on devil horns? Nah, no. Just I don't want to be on a shirt. But you dead already. I like. want y'all bitches to be fly. Like show off, my bougie bitches. Wear your red bottom. Bring you know a little Chanel bag. Put some Chanel. Bring your Dior glasses. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> so you want me to cry with my Dior's yeah, on? Yeah, with cry, the black eyeliner. Cry in style. Yeah. Y'all want to be cremated, buried, or frozen? I don't want to be none of the above. So, okay, I, I'm excited about this question, you guys. So, I um, I want to be. I forgot the. Why well, sound called. like you was about to announce your death? Listen, guys, no. I'm gonna die on this so, day. No, because I feel like this is so interesting. So, there's this place in um, I want to say it's like Wisconsin or it's, it's somewhere in the in the Midwest, mm. and um, you. They you the um compost that's what it's called. Wisconsin? No, no, it's compost. Okay, like oh. they you become compost. Oh. Elaborate so, for people who so don't know. So meaning you there's no you, they don't bury you they don't do anything they don't they just it's a it's a box it's like um let's say this is the box right it's high mm -hmm. and they put like fertilization like so it keeps you it, it you're gonna well, naturally they decompose. They stuff you in there. Yeah, and then um. I'm going to see if I could post like a link in the bottom of this so that people could see what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. um, so they check every 30 days, you your body goes through a certain process of the decomposition. That's uh -huh. be money. So then um, in 30 days, they check you. And then I think at that point, you're already your your liquids and like all that stuff is yeah, out or something. And then um, they start. It's it's so crazy. I don't know how to explain Wait, it. You but just don't, gotta watch don't, it. Don't when they do that, they like make you like a tree or something. Like, so isn't you it have that? the option of becoming a tree being yeah, planted at the actual that. site, the campsite of where they do this, mm -hmm. or like let's say my mom has a house. They, they give put you they in give the backyard. all the fertilization, all of my um, compost to my mom, and then she could bury it or she could plant mm -hmm. whatever she wants with it. So, it so usually dry, one right? body like of a hundred and something pounds, my body right now, God forbid I die and I do that, it's going to be like over 500 pounds of compost. That's I didn't even know that. What that's that's what all your, everything liquefying in your body. Everything. That's, everything. that's bugged out. Over that. 500 and, pounds. And you under what, like 130? I'm, yeah, I'm like 140. Yes, yeah, so and I would eventually turn into five hundred pounds. So then they'll give it's like five big garbage you. bags of of, of the so compost. Like yeah, yeah, that would be your, your organs then, and everything. Mm -hmm, be everything, and then they give the family like a little bag like this, and that's like considered the the ashes. But in reality, it's not ashes. It's just something that they'll keep as ashes. It's like yo, take a piece of yeah. Bone so you see how people little... what was the name of those things where the ashes are. Iron. Yeah, so instead of it being ashes, it's like that for for I the people. I don't know. People. I haven't decided like what I want. Like, 
but that's the thing though they a lot of the government is trying to make that illegal because it doesn't benefit the government no, it's, it's, it's a natural no, process you, yeah. you take it for yourself so and if let's say for example your mom wants to do it in her backyard like that's your own property mm -hmm. but um I don't know. Yeah. Um, so it's it's uh, the government is I'm um, is very interesting. Or maybe it's interesting for me. I don't know. But like I no, said, I mean, I'm a, I'm a I, never, link I never heard of it. Like it's something new. I'll add to my listens. I'm chuck a weirdo to like. No, nah, I've heard of that. But I know I, they I've like never, you could get planted yeah, in, like to a tree. Like they, no, that process. I thought of everything like, except like, do I want to actually have people visit me or do I want to be cremated and like? No, no. I just. I want that, and you know, my mom could choose wherever she wants to plant something in my honor. But people visiting me, no, I'm a vis. My memories in your head is where you're gonna visit me. That's it. Go back to that memory you have with me. I won't be mummified or frozen. Oh my god! You know, before we like cut it short, you know what's kind of real scary? Not too long ago, I think it was a rapper. Yeah, they had him in the club. That's fucking wicked. That's, yeah, that's wild. That, but that Puerto Ricans have been doing that oh, for no, no, no. I, the they guy was one on a motorcycle. He was sitting just like, like this that. with the sevens on. I was like, bro. Now you saw the one. My I bo forgot, our bodies. They don't, they don't. I forgot which country it was. I think a, a girl or his girl jumped on him while he was out the casting and started humping him. Oh no, that's just different. Yeah, that was wild. I mean, I saw I saw it on like World Star or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's that's different. Like in regards to grieving, it's just something that just takes time. You gotta process. You gotta go through your phases and just whenever you gotta you're go ready. Through your phases and for sure, life is very, very short. So don't hold any grudges. Don't don't think about that stuff anymore. If you love someone, make sure you let them know. Make sure you let them feel it. Tell them and give people their flowers while they're still alive. Don't That's wait until they're That's gone. That RP, my That's nigga Jack from fact. Titanic. So with that being said, we're gonna announce. No, we're we're actually the next episode. The next, <clears throat> the episode, next episode, we're gonna announce the winner of episode. But one, you two, still three. have a chance. So comment, like, share, subscribe, <laughs> and we'll be back. Bye. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, it got me a little bye. Bye. Yo, it's clipped. You heard. Yeah. <laughs>